what happens at this point is we no longer use sandpaper. We make we. It's possible to use fifteen hundred, but you're risking it because you might scratch your place. Mm. And mm. Um, so you just use the. That's what these stones are for. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Right, and this is actually fifteen hundred. I see. Um, mm -hmm. uh, if um, okay, so if you get lazy and think you want to hurry things up and use an 800 you don't have it if you bought them i sell them but if you bought them you'll damage it and it'll cost you a day minimum so just be patient and uh then um one other thing about these stones is there's no way to tell what they are by looking at them you always have to write the numbers on them okay even the small pieces Right. Um, this is fifteen hundred, and uh, and they all look the same. So you need to make they, a note on it. They look all the same. So and like the numbers okay. come off, so you have to rewrite them. I'll rewrite that later. Okay. So what you're doing is um, trying to get a, a smooth substrate. That's all. Any dips will look like dips when you put gold on. Them. Any mountains. Uh, like look like mountains. Mountains are a little bit less, or a little bit more forgiving. Mountains are never a problem, by the way, because you don't have mountains. You have only have dips. Any cracks will look like cracks. So there's no. This is not forgiving. <laughs> um, so which? Yeah, absolutely not forgiving. It, so um, there's no inside outside um, preference. You know, you don't do the inside first, outside second, or anything, but. You're going to have to look very closely here because it's not really possible. Look at, get a, a light angle in your, in your, uh, when you watch, I can see it. I can, I can see this angle and I'm looking at the reflection. Oh, okay. I'm just going to move this a little bit so it makes some. Yeah. Okay. One second. Okay. Can you see? Okay. This line this entire line this is low this is high there's no switch point mm -hmm. and can you see uh, oh, actually I have partially done this line but what we want to do is is sand it to where where there is neither this or any dips mm -hmm. so we we've this area still has that right yeah so if you use this edge and you dig in you're going to make a, a hole so you don't want that so you kind of go like this mm -hmm. i'm using this as a guide so it doesn't dig in mm -hmm. but i'm trying to get rid of this little bit mm -hmm. Can you see what's happening? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what you want. So you notice that some of it's matte, some of it's still shiny. Mm. The matte is um, at least sanded, if not finished. The shiny is not yet sanded. So when when I look at it, if you say how's this, and I and I see any shiny, I'll just say no, it's not sanded yet. So that's it. You just keep on doing this until it's matte. Until it's matte, and then, again, technically right here, there's a, a very small dip. Mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to worry about that, because I know that number three gold is actually kind of bigger than this dip, so it'll fill it in. Mm -hmm. But you don't get many things like that. Like, if you look here, you can feel that's rough. So. Mm -hmm. 
So that's all we're going to do for 30 minutes, which would make it uh, 1.30. So I set a timer so I don't have to worry about the time. So <laughs> I'm just going to start here, yeah? You're going to start there. I'm going to switch this, but let me first take a look at it here. One second. Let me get a pen. Matt. That's pretty good. This is mm. good, but mm. this this kind of needs some. Mm. So that's about the only place. That's probably something. When I after I applied the Nashi G, I wanted to see how well it went. So everything I won't draw lines because so that's everything except for that. Mm. And um, if you go, this is actually this is ready. That, that's the feel you want. There's really no bump. If you didn't look, if you went like this, if you looked up, you couldn't really tell other than it's, you see what I mean? It's a different level, I mean a different height, mm. but it's not, it's not like um, that, you know, where that's that kind of sharp edge. Don't, you always have to run perpendicular, not parallel. Oh. If you're on parallel, you could also cut your finger. So yeah. go this way. It's not that. Okay. 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 I'm gonna coffee. Great. <laughs> <laughs> That's an important information that it, what I want is a matte, not right. a shiny. So that gives me a good indication of where I still have to be working. Right. Mm. That's true. Four branches. Today is three, but there's one more soon. They are very tall. They certainly are. No? But she is a little bit taller than the average Japanese woman. Not much, but she needs to get water. Probably not too tall. Yeah, it's
I have a question. If you check this, is this too much? Oh, you mean have you have you uh, taken away too much? You mean? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, the well, actually, you didn't take away too much. Uh, or maybe, yeah, that's if you took away all all to that. But the problem is, this you couldn't have taken away down in that hole. No. So maybe there wasn't enough there. Ah, okay. Right. Yeah, because that's the only bit. Okay. The mm. the um, the idea in, um, is you want to leave. I call these ramps, but I don't know what the best word is. But you you have a high side to a low side, right? And you want to leave that high side to low side filler, yeah, as best as possible. But my guess is maybe there there was just nothing. Mm. But that crack is big enough that it's going to take some more nashi juice. Okay, okay. Uh, and the other question: How much pressure do you well put? Um, let me first of all, let me build this in for you. I think that's pretty. Can you actually use tap water for the cheese thing? Cheese said you, you, know, you can drink it if you want, they don't. Mm. But it's I, it's not, uh, it's pretty good quality. Yeah. But we have a well, so I, I don't even have tap water. So. Oh, well. Okay. How much pressure? Um, it's not as important about the pressure. The important thing is that um, what you have is... This is exaggerated, but what you have is a low spot and a high spot, and in between you have lacquer. So you, what you don't really want to do, this is your stone. You don't want to go like this. There's no use in that because you're getting rid of this lacquer. That's maybe what happened there, but I don't think that's what happened there. Because there's, you, mm. you see what I mean, the piece you asked? So, so you're going by the sides more than on top. Well, you're actually going like this. You're using this as an upper guide, and this as a lower guide. And then you go like this. Okay. Right. That's very important. The reason is this. Mm -hmm. After you dig this out two or three times and reapply it and dig it out and reapply it, you'll realize you're doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you your goal is to preserve this. And while you're doing that, by the way, you kind of have a choice of a ramp size. This, you can have a big ramp, you can have a small ramp. I prefer a smaller ramp. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, it's a matter of. Well, it kind of is. Something like this would look strange anyway. Mm -hmm. So.
Where are you from in Germany? I was born in Cologne. Um, and I grew up in a small town in between Cologne, Aachen, and Düsseldorf, which is very close to the Dutch border. A C H E N. A A C H E N. They have a very big. I'm on my. Dorm I have a or a great German friend who's from there. Oh yeah, that's very close to where I grew up. Oh okay. Mm. I traveled for about six months in India with a German, and his girlfriend was there for a while, but she, she went back, but we traveled. All oh, right. After I went, uh, I visited with him twice and her, actually. Oh, nice. But I, I you know, that was a uh, long time ago. A long time ago. I still occasionally have contact with him. I have lost contact with her. But, um, that's about the only, I know the major city names, but I don't know. Yeah, I mean. But it, that, that city, just because you said it, it's kind of funny, because that's about the only city I know yeah. that's small. And it's not that big, actually. I mean, it's not like Munich or. Right. I was in Munich for a while. when I went in 1986. Okay. And spent uh, 10 weeks just traveling around. I went back to Munich before that. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting for this water to come. Yeah. By the way, there's no, other than scratching the blades, which is not that easy with 1500, in fact, I don't even know if you can. There's no, it's not like you can mess this up. All that happens is we have to reapply it. Right. So. I mean, have a, well, or, yeah. I'll have a look. I'll be, yeah. I'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah.
Flip that. Oh. Okay, let me. Uh, let me just... okay. okay. Um. Okay. First of all, let me just. Look right Ah, you can put alcohol up in the... Yeah, this is, mm. uh, the time you don't put alcohol on is when it's not dry. <laughs> like, it goes, it, when the sabi, especially, also the nigi urushi, is before it's dry, mm. it'll suck the alcohol in and weaken it. Mm. And so... Um, it needs to be really dry. It needs to be cured, yeah. Mm. Um, let me, uh... This I just started, so that, that, okay. that this I, I've done. Okay. So, uh, Where you can... okay. So I'll just, uh, I'll assume you were talking about Tiber, right? Hmm. Okay. So basically, um, this itself, just leave alone. So, that, okay, well, so, um, this area mm -hmm. needs decisions made. What are you going to do? Like, it's, the line itself is not defined, so mm -hmm. this is, um, low height and so you need to this is actually still shiny mostly mm -hmm. so you need to instead of this you need a very tight um, polishing surface mm -hmm. you don't go too far over because what happens is this but you need to also define it's a high end but this is all squiggly it's not a straight line right here yeah usually by the way the high end is very straight because it's defined by the ceramic fine mm -hmm. but this isn't because there's overlap over here mm -hmm. and the bottom side is also not defined because it hasn't been hit um what we'll do there's about nine more minutes i'm always serious about 30 minutes i get tired mm -hmm. and you then you get if you get tired then you really you know mess up what we'll do with this, mm -hmm. is, um, this itself, these two, this, these two areas, mm -hmm. um, this is the same problem as that, but on a little bit larger scale. You see, this is thin, mm -hmm. and that's fat. Mm -hmm. This fat is not really that big of a deal, but somehow you have to make this look nice. You yeah. can't have this kind of wave. I see. And the same here, right here. Yeah. And so that's this, but also this has little pits. This isn't that bad, but this area, this area. Is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so and the same here, right? That is, but that's like I just said. But the thing with this is that, um, That's your transition point. High, sorry, low, high, low, high. That's the problem. You see what I mean? Your piece is not this, it's this. And that's your transition. So that, um, that transition means um, you kind of, well, since you don't really know about this, let me make the decision here. Um,
So you're going from here to here. Yeah, I'm just hitting this transition area. How much can you take off? Well, you can take it all off. Okay. But you don't want it. The reason it's there is to establish these ramps. But this is good if you want to get rid of some... Right, if you want to be precise. And yeah. This won't sand, but it will take this kind of... Yeah. Okay. Which is the problem. Yeah. Mm. So, if you put your finger right here, you see it's kind of smooth, right? Yeah. That's the transition area. Mm -hmm. So now what we have is the ramps on this side, the ramps on that side. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to get. Mm -hmm. So if the ramp's on that side, we don't want anything right here, unless it was a chip, right? But mm -hmm. it's not really a chip. By the way, this kind of porcelain doesn't chip that easy. So that's another thing you need to know about ceramics. Mm -hmm. It doesn't do these small chips that easy. Mm -hmm. so, so basically, this side is good. In other words, this air, from here to here, top side's good. Bottom side needs definition. This side... It's a little bit problematic right here. But that's a chip. Yeah, it fizzles out a bit. Yeah, that's right. It, this actually, this has a few kind of chips. So you don't want to dig chips out because then you just have to clean Yeah, that's a problem because it's hard to tell. Right. Mm, that's okay. Mm. Okay. I would maybe call this good. Don't worry about that anymore. This bottom side, I might just hit it like... Um, you can see I'm probably rubbing harder than you, mm. but I've got this firmly here and this firmly here. I'm not rubbing here. Mm -hmm. That's what's important. So. Um, but you won't leave it like this because it's uneven also. No, you won't. And. Uh, mm. Okay. Precision. It's pretty, this has to be precise. Okay, if you go, you use your fingernail here, and you'll see it's kind of smooth. And then if you put it here, it's got that sharp edge. Can you kind of feel it? Not really. Okay, one second. No, well, this is it. This is it. Okay, listen to this. This is different. This isn't hitting. It is kind of, but not as much hitting ceramic. Uh -huh. That's what I mean. Uh -huh. So this actually, whenever you have that sound, that feeling, mm -hmm. you have to put more Nashi G. Okay. If Nashi G is your thing, that yeah, this is this I get. Like okay. this is looks feels filled. Right. Whereas this feels not filled. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. That's, so that's, yeah. at mm -hmm. this point. Yeah. Is since it's not filled, you don't don't worry about it anymore. Okay. We need more lacquer. Okay. So move to a different area, and today we'll apply more lacquer. Uh huh. Um, Great. If you uh, if you. So all this area, I'm not worrying about it anymore. Well, basically, because this this area also needs more lacquer. So since we're going to apply more lacquer, you might just run see. We're at 30 minutes, mm -hmm. and if you want to go a little more, that's fine, because the next step is to apply lacquer. Mm -hmm. um, but what you want to do is, um, this is what I mean, you always have to be decisive. Instead of randomly do it, figure out what's top, what's bottom, mm -hmm. knock everything off the top, and see how the bottom fits, mm -hmm. because we, at this point, we're losing time on, not losing time, we're going to lose time, because we're going to put it in the Moodle with lacquer. Mm. So we may as well lose time once uh, instead of again tomorrow. Okay. And right. Just make sure that what you're hitting right now is the high end. You don't want to use that on the low end. And usually your finger is not sensitive enough. Usually you have to go like this. Because your fingernail will, will click into the... This is high. That's high. Okay. Then if it's high, then you're good. But... Make sure you go here because you might have a twist. Mm. So this feels low to me. So that yeah, I agree with you. This is all high. Okay, good. Then just knock the high off. 
and uh, is this a pill? Or it might be. You, I, um, if it is, then you don't want to mess with it. No. I just remembered one thing that um, while you're doing that, I'm going to check your hard drive. Oh yeah. And first, I'll make the coffee because I just know the water's going to come. But the hard drive. I think the app is good. What's I think, that? I think the app is is. The higher end. Yeah. Well, the higher end is always good. It's. So uh, the lower end, I'm not touching. The lower end, what you should do is run over it with the with the stones. No. Because you want to. Uh, you know, if you've got that ridge where it needs um, lacquer, we need to know that now. I'm not exactly sure what I mean? that <laughs> I know what I'm doing yet. I mean, I kind of I well, think I, I know. Let me show you. Um, so here's this. Yeah, it's better. Okay. So what we're going to do, after oh. we take five minutes or so, we're going to, we're just going to run Nashi G all over everything. Mm -hmm. But we, if we didn't really need it here, mm -hmm. then we don't have to. Ah, okay. So let's see if we need it, is what I'm saying. So you try to obviously make it the be as best as you can, because if you right. do it right, maybe we don't need Nashi G there. It, not, not so much that, it's just be rough with it, because we're going to be using Nashi G anyway. Oh. So we can easily go over that. Fine. Okay, right. I see. And make sure you mop that off. You always have to mop your soupy stuff off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Water. Oh, oh yeah, because you have to refill it. Maybe it's just a little warm enough. Okay, 
So this part, is this okay or is this too much? No, we need more. We ask you, G. Uh -huh. That went too far. This but went too far. I don't it's think it's your fault because... It came off, but still, I, I yeah, because it, this the pressure was the same. Okay, so probably... Um, so this is too far. It's too far. It's not yeah. too far so much as you had, there was a uh, crevice. Mm. And the, this is what I've been talking about. When you fill these cracks, you go over with Nashi G, then you take it off. That's what I mean. And now we'll go over again and it'll fill it up a little bit more. Yeah. That's what the whole thing is. Yeah. Um, okay. So this coffee will be done in a few minutes. And if you want to, we're, we're good. Mm -hmm. This is where you should take a break before something goes wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> and um, Great. I would suggest, I'm going to ask you to do this um, to apply the Nashi G. Yes. And um, since we're going to do this, I'm going to quickly run over the back. And Are we filming, yeah? Uh, well, I can't. I keep on messing things up because of the angle. So. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Let I me mean, actually. But we are filming. when I was doing it, oh yeah.